Yeah, that's very valid. I can completely understand why you would hate that. But I'm interested, what are you what are you describing as virtue signaling here? Because I think that virtue signaling is not inherently good or bad. I think that it's morally neutral. Like if we were to look up what that term means, the action or practice of publicly expressing opinions or sentimentals intended to demonstrate one's good character or the moral correctness of one's opinion on a particular issue. Um, yeah. So, sometimes it can be really bad, but sometimes it's... I think that... I think that... <laughs> to say that I'm a leftist and I like left-leaning ideas... I think that that could be interpreted as virtue signaling. I think that that is appropriate to the definition. Um, other people interpret it differently. An example would be, you know, virtue signaling in a disingenuous way, like saying something that they probably don't actually believe, like lying, like Tim Pool saying trans rights or human rights like that that sort of thing like i don't think tim pool actually believes that he tweet he tweeted a bunch of like you know we can actually look at that i don't like virtue signaling when it comes from a place of someone wanting to make money from it yeah like grifting i don't think it's on hold on could someone send me the tweet hold hold on <laughs> we're going to boost that fucking volume i think i think i've crafted a a strategy that creates a paradox that cannot be countered in any reasonable capacity. Shit's uh, so I'm funny. I'm sure there will be attempts, but the ultimate issue is this. I tweeted, abolish the ATF. I tweeted, abolish the IRS. Which one of those, if any, are my actual opinions? I also tweeted, you know, uh, there was a study saying that, you know, Fauci said something like COVID lockdowns. We, we, or they said something like, we don't know if there's ever going to be an end of the pandemic. And so then I said, okay, then release all the restrictions. There's actual opinions in there. Which one's the real one? Maybe you can come to one of my, you know, podcasts and try and figure out how I really feel about things. Do I really want to abolish the ATF? I said abolishing the police is wrong. What's my real opinion? Go ahead and figure it out, journalists. You won't be able to, which means any tweet ever used by any publication from me will be them publishing complete bunk BS because you will not be able to determine which one of my tweets is real. This dude's just like... I'm going to lie about some things on the internet so people don't know what I actually think, and then I can't be held accountable for anything that I actually say. Like, he, he really do be thinking, oh yeah, lying is very big brain. But no, it, it's like, you know, uh, some of these lying tweets also come off as virtue signaling in the sense that, like, he's literally lying and being disingenuous and has an ulterior motive so yeah it's it's really fucking dumb and it's it's so it's so dumb how he thinks that he's really big brained <laughs> that <laughs> They don't know my actual opinion. You literally had the leader of the Proud Boys on for a friendly chat. Yes, we do. Your actual content is 99% far-right talking points. Tim Pool is just making his show and opinions worse by this, and he's a journalist. Yeah, I, th I just think he's fucking stupid. I, th I just think he's dumb. Like, I don't... Like, why would you get opinions from this guy? Why would you get opinions from a guy who's literally admitting to being a fucking weasel? <laughs> like, I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. 